I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Space! All right, and with that intro, I bet you can't guess what my army's based off of. For those of you who don't know, it's Command & Conquer Red Alert 3. People were asking for army showcases, so here's my first attempt at doing them. Today, it's Michael here with my friend Bo. And to, uh, we're going to do the Soviets from, well, the Soviet book. My, my Red Army against U.S. Airborne. But first, I'm running a T-80 shock company. So I got my one HQ, two platoons of two. I don't have, I don't know. Yeah, you can see them. They don't actually have the mines clears on them. I just have them on the model. A BMP shock, BMP three shock company with four rifle teams and three RPG VRs. A three uh, BMP three recon platoon of three tanks, four Tunguskas, four Gaskins, six Carnations. That's my formation, and then in support are four ZSU 17s. Not ZSU 17s. SU 17s. What's this? What's a ZSU 17? SU 17 fitters and a BMP 1 observer for my carnations. Take a, uh, next up, we'll take a look at the airborne. All right, now we have the uh, airborne. I'm said Soviet. Airborne force. What are you rocking, Bo? Uh, two formations of airborns. Got the the standard uh, rats with saws, and then two uh, sets of Sheridans, then scout hummers, tow hummers, and then the Hueys that come with them. And the exact same thing, just twice. And then I have uh, Yorks and A-10s as support. Yep. So it's five rifle teams per platoon, right? Yep. And a dragon. Yep. So you're not bringing the second dragon yet, because no. they're not painted. Yeah. And you're not paying for the Dragon 2 upgrade, right? Nope, they're standard dragons. So, then you have Toe 2s on all your on all your Hummers, right? Yeah. So, Toe 2s on Hummers, uh, standard dragons, and then the Sheridans have their... What is this shillelagh? Or the gun on it. Where is your card? There it is. It's yeah, 21 on the main gun and 22 on the missile. So they're gonna have a they're gonna have a pretty hard time going through my T80s, but he's got a lot a lot of stuff. Oh, from the front. I've got five. I've got five vehicles you have to worry about. Yeah, I believe your T80s are the only ones that have to roll firepower checks. Everything else is probably straight to firepower. Oh yeah, I think the Carnations might be the next. Oh no, the BMP3s have a front armor of five. Oh, so. We're going to get the board set up, and uh, then we'll get to start playing. All right, we're all deployed. Table's all set up. Carnations, BMP Recon with an uh, T-80 HQ, BMP-1, BMP-3 uh, Shock Transports, then my Tunguskas. Forgot to mention, the scenario we're playing is Valley of Death. So I had to start like 12 inches in, 20 inches up. Meanwhile, Bo and his U.S. Airborne uh, get 36 inches in and 8 inches up. And I have to take my two objectives, which I didn't quite showcase them better, but, you know. Got my rocket, I need to escape to space from capitalism. And then, if I'm going to go with the whole joke, got to go kill submarines for the motherland. But we're in a, a town, city, whatever you want to call it. Actually, fairly similar to some places in around where I live. Got our in inside joke of hiring a janitor. D and D game janitor was killed. It's been running gag for us. But he's he boat. You're deployed. Are these in the same formation? Nope. Those are two separate formations. Well, I know they're two separate units, but two separate formations. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, the, the gray is in a formation, the yellow is a, in the other formation. Okay, so he's got five Sheridans there, five Sheridans there, four, four Sergeant Yorks. Those are your tow hummers. Yep. Four more tow hummers over there. Five Sheridans, five Sheridans, because Bo does weird things like he puts all of his infantry in reserve. It works. We'll see if it works. But I've got a couple of unique buildings. I don't remember what company made. This guy, that one, or that building over there. If I can find out where what they are, they're uh, no longer around. But they used they I believe they sold their product or their line to someone else. So if I can find it, I'll post it in the link below. So my reserves are two my two platoons of T80s and my Gaskins Gophers. Gophers, yes, hot Gophers. 
Told you guys I wouldn't get it right even when I played with them. But as the attacker, I go first. So before we go on to movement, it's immediate reserves for me. He has delayed scatter reserves, so they'll either come over there or over there. And it's meeting engagement, so no artillery for me. And I consider it having moved. No artillery for him, but he didn't bring artillery. Why'd you no. bring no artillery? I don't like artillery. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> oh, his A-10s are also in reserve. So the first thing I have to do is my immediate reserves on turn one. No reserves. Do my fighters come on? They do. Oh, dang, I would rather have those rules reversed. All right, I'm going to go on to movement. So the before across the board I'm trying to slow down my movement because it's been critiqued a little bit which is understandable it's a lot faster on camera than it is holding it I'll tell you that much so before and after movement carnations move up since I can't fire them artillery anyway T-80 moved up slightly uh, he's in range technically I believe or at least he should be I'm trying to angle him so he can't quite get side shots on me when he, if he blitzes with his uh, Sheridans what's the skill on a Sheridan? Four plus. Four plus. All right. Uh, those, uh, my infantry come up, transports moved up. My scout platoon moved up. I have one missile shot into them because I can. The thing about the BMP3s is it's a laser guided missile, so we can fire on the move. Tunguskas are not going to move. And the SU 17s are just barely out of range of the Sergeant Yorks because they have a 24 inch range, right? Yep. 24 inch range plus radar 16 that's 40 so I'm just a hair out so for starting up shooting I'm gonna shoot one what is that missile called the stabber missile the a10 stabber missile oh interesting go stab some tanks yeah I'm gonna go try to stab a Sheridan you're in cover you haven't done anything so you're gone to ground or you're concealed and you're gone to ground. You're hitting fours, five because of concealed, six is because of gone to ground. I rolled a four. Uh, I probably should have not done that because they have scout. No, they don't have scout. Interesting. They just have spearhead. T80. Shooting one of, I think it's that far in Sheridan right there. Yeah. Uh, he gets cover from the building of the wall. So again, hitting on a six. No. Those four, actually, he should be backed up a little bit. Don't want to give him completely free shots yet. Just make him, yeah. All right, I don't have any other shots except for my uh, SU-17 fitters. So we're pumping all the shots into the four, four tow hummers. hummers. And I'm going to fire my main guns instead of trying to range in on a six. Because that, that artillery would definitely hit train. So I get four shots apiece. Eight. Come on. Sorry about this. Trying to get my dice. Left them all in my ten. So four, eight, twelve... 16. You're out in the open. Yep, you're out in the open. So you don't get uh, concealed. So hitting you on force. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right, so 2 on each one. Yep. Anti tank 7 against your side armor of 0. Yep, 0. Okay. So I have firepower 5 plus to kill. So we're gonna that guy uh, dead. Next guy double bailed. Next guy dead, and last guy dead. So that guy marked his double bail, so he'll have to do his uh, okay. re uh, motivation or is it remount? We'll do. It, it, we'll see what he rolls and then see what it matters. All right. Well, let's see here. All right. Six. Six. Okay, well, um, I don't know if it's motivation or remount. I guess I should probably look up that up when he's uh, doing movement. But that is my turn. So I killed three of four tow hummers. 
My jets will fly away. I'll get them when he's doing movement. But conveniently, now he has to do last stand. Yep, really so good. now it's on your turn. So go ahead and roll that up. All right, let's see if he rolls a six again or runs away. Four, what's his motivation? Uh, morale is three plus. Morale is three plus. Oh, do they have, do they have machine guns? Uh, nope, they're, they're just straight toes. Uh, your Sheridans were in range. Did you want to go ahead and roll for them? Or do you want to say it's too late? I, I'm good with you rolling if you want. They have 50 cals. What's the range of it? 16 inches, probably. 16? Oh. No. I, don't, I don't know how many. It's actually 20. Oh, it's 20. Oh, okay. That makes wow. sense. I, I it's tank mounted 50 cal. I wonder how many are in range. We might have to re-roll the... Uh, Oh, yeah, so that, that this whole unit could actually shoot. Okay, well, go ahead and roll that up. We'll I'll re-roll their um, kills. But, yeah, them. so uh, because it's a, a, they only get a single shot apiece. They only right? get a single shot apiece. Okay. You hit me on threes. Okay, so three hits. So, I have a five-up aircraft save. I make none of them. And then don't I have to roll the firepower twice? I uh, funny with I believe so. You're not dedicated AA, so I believe so. Oh, wow. Firepower is a 5 plus one. Yeah. Wow. Alright. So you would make two, but you, I believe you re-roll it. If you fail these, I'll double check. Alright, All right, so, so you shoot down one. Yeah. That's a lot better than what I was expecting. Alright, I'm going to pause real quick and make sure that he didn't shoot down two. Alright, so we just did some cleanup off camera. One guy, I re-rolled the dice, I killed essentially two, uh, one, one lived. One survived, he got double bailed out and he stuck around. Roll his bail out, his motivation, or uh, his remount. Four, is yep. that good enough? Yep, he remounts on four. Cool, excellent. So I don't kill three, I kill two, which is okay. Let's see, it's about right for four Z, uh, SU-17s. Yeah. Why don't you call them ZSUs? I don't know. But yeah, now we'll go on to uh, American Airborne Unit Movement. American Airborne Unit. American Airborne Movement. <laughs> uh, Alright, Sheridan's moved up. Uh, this platoon decided to split apart. These two are going to pop shots into the Carnations, right? Yep. These three, plus those, three of these guys are going to shoot at essentially those two. Sergeant York's did not like what the SU-17s did, so they moved up to cover the actual half of their table. And apparently I made enough room for him to fit one guy there. Yep. The tow hummers move up, getting ready to pop missiles downrange. Those Sheridans just took cover behind the building. Those ones are sitting still. Well, you know, I have a platoon of infantry and BMPs ready to pop around the corner and start lighting things up. So where do you want to start shooting? Oh. Uh, I guess the three uh, Schleilies. Three Shillelaghs. Yep. I don't know which three. We figured out it's three. Yeah. Uh, I'm hit on fives because of cover, because I'm shock scouts. Yeah. Well, uh, two Shillelaghs. Two oh. Shillelaghs. All right. Well, straight to uh, my front armor's five. Okay. You kill one. All right. So he is dead. And then, um, so can that one next to the building see the one next to it? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so three shots on the remaining two. Hit on fives. Could you roll them here? Straight to fire. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Auto. Auto firepower. He's dead. All right, well, that's about what I expected. And then uh, two shots on your carnations. Okay, hit on threes. One uh, dead. One dead. Because Bo figured out that the carn uh, the Sheridan's 155 millimeter gun? Yeah. Um, have a such an explosive mass that it's auto firepower. It says one plus, but you can't fail on ones. Is that all you're shooting? Yep, that's all my shooting. Cool. Uh, I need to roll last stand on him. He should be good on a five plus. Uh, morale is three plus, yes, because they're elite. And then the carnations I don't need to do. So now I roll for my reserves. Because I get two dice because it's turn two. So, reserves. I get one. And then do my aircraft come back on? They do. So, I'm going to grab T-80s because I really need armor. I'm not going to bring in my gu my gophers. Yeah, I got it right. Ha ha. <laughs> okay, so my before with two, three dead tanks. Not 
bad, all things considered. But here's the before. All right, and then after movement, two T80s came on because they come on from this short edge. I went ahead and used my advanced stabilizer, moved up 14 inches. HQ moved from over here to there. Surviving BMP3 moved from here to there. He's gonna, those two are going to try to wipe out those two. Carnations are staying put. They're going to try and smoke, drop a smoke bombardment right there. Realized my uh, observer was in a bad spot, so he had to move over there. Inside this building, my infantry got out. It's divided by two. They got out here. They were able to run in through that door right there and get into the building. And so they're going to get ready because he, he pointed out he has brutal guns there, and I don't want to be in my tanks when I'm getting shot. Those four ran around the corner, and they have several shots onto them. And then... My jets come over here, and they're going to either try to shoot Sergeant York's, or they might turn around and shoot the tow Humvees. Not sure yet. We'll see We'll see if they survive. I doubt they're going to survive this turn. But first things first is smoke bombardment. Trying to range in right there. First attempt. Uh, ranging on on a 5+. plus. So no. No. Uh-oh. Nope. Don't. All right. Well, that's uh, not good for me. Don't have my red, white, and blue dice. So first up, we're going to start off with shooting here. Got. I'm going to use my... What is that gun? The 30mm. 30mm auto cannon into those two. Hitting you on fours. One hit. Anti-tank 10. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I have a potential to bounce. If I, oh, no, it'll equal, so be a potential bailout. If I roll a six. Uh, no. no. So fire far. Uh, bail. T80 is going to shoot him now. T80 misses. These two T80s are going to shoot at those two. Needing fours. One hit. Straight to fire. Dead. Jeebus. All right, uh, we're going to start off with my aircraft, so go ahead and roll for defensive fire. Mm -hmm. I am out of range of the uh, the Sheridans here. So you have all four Sergeant York shooting at me. And I am out in the open. He's got weird, like, cover from there or from there, but enough of the guys can see clear shots. All right, so that's four shots each. Uh, here, since you have so many dice. I am hit on threes. Okay. Yep. There's three stands left. So. Uh, so. Wow. So I only missed uh, three times. Okay. Sounds about right. Uh, so. Okay. So one of them has five, and the other has four. Okay. So. Uh, first four makes two saves. Second four makes one save. And then last guy will get a five. Yeah. So two saves. Two, uh, so th one has one. two kills. Yeah. So what's the firepower on this guy? Oh, four plus. Okay. Okay, he's dead. Next guy gets three firepower checks. He's dead. And then the last guy also gets three firepower checks. Well, okay. That's about what I was expecting. The BMPs now are going to start shooting. We have some more dice. So, if I remember correctly, he has shots there. He, or that one, that one, and that one can shoot like these three. Potentially that fourth one. So we'll start off with this guy, or this guy, shooting into him. The 30 millimeter, needing fours. Ten against your side armor. Oh, uh, that's straight to fire. Power. Uh, dead. Yeah. And then 
two, four, six shots into them. Actually, I need to roll these separately because those two have side shots. He has four front armor shots. So. Uh, nope, because you have cover. The other two, you don't get cover. Yeah. Oh, cheapest. Uh, two hits, so... Yeah, so the last two on the end, that's, yep. that's side armor, so straight to fire power. So it'd be those two. Yep. Uh, one killed, one bailed, and based off the dice, it would have been oh. this guy killed. Okay, I was just going to do the one on the end. Oh yeah, no, but it's just how the dice lay. Yeah. And I think that is all of my shooting. So... My jets are dead. I'll pull them here in a moment. Uh, you don't have any last stands to make, right? Uh, nope. Alright, so we'll uh, go to U.S. Airborne Movement. Uh, we'll mark off dead, so before. So one Sheridan dead, he's bailed. Oh. Two Sheridan dead. Uh, oh, there's a third one over there. Third one dead, one's bailed over, no, yes. No, you, yeah, one's bailed over there. Three dead jets. Sergeant Yorks are probably going to sit there. They can actually probably get aggressive now. Uh, and then the... I wanted to say stingers. The tow humvees are still there. And my infantry are hiding in this building. So. Oh, I already have the token there. Oh, you already have the token there. Yeah. Okay, uh, we'll be back after airborne movement. All right, before we get on to movement... I lied. We have to do remount. So you have one remount over there, right? You got four pluses. Nope. And then that one right there. Four pluses. Nope. All right. I'm going to throw away that dice. Well, you rolled a whole bunch of fives and sixes against my jets. I don't want to hear. Rolling two ones in a row. Don't care. Go into movement. All right, post airborne movement. He, that guy stuck around or stayed still. The two Sheridans here moved under there to flank the T80. Uh, what else did you do? The Sergeant Orcs did like cross country and road dashes to get to there. Their huh. job. Their job is done. They're not holding an objective. Uh, Hummer toes moved up because they didn't have any good shots. Sheridan's did some shuffling over there to shoot at my BMP3s. So where do you want to start with your shooting? Uh, the long range shillelaghs into the group of... Uh, so five shillelaghs into these two T-80s. Yep. Meaning fours. You got two, two hits. hits. So that's 22. Against my front armor of 20, it's guided and heat, so it ignores the range penalties. Or well, I guess the guide doesn't matter. Heat ignores my uh, up armor, so uh, two C equals three to bounce. Yep. Five yeah. and five. Bounce, bounce. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting anything. Yep. Neat, <laughs> but that, 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 I had the shot, so yeah. we'll take it. All right, so one into this dude. Okay, needing a four. He's dead. And then two and two your... He has auto fire power, so that's why I didn't... Yeah. And two and two your T-80. Needing force. Ooh, I was hoping for two. But. All right, so one hits my side armor because of ERA, because he's a, it's a heat round, right? Yeah. So your anti-tank is 21. Yep, 21. My side armor jumps to 16, so I need a 5 to equal 6 to bounce. And he's dead. You killed my HQ. It's kind of a risky gambit. I didn't think he would actually be able to get to my rear. Um, I was trying to keep him from getting to my side. I didn't realize he could move that far. Yep. So I have no HQ. Wonderful. Oh well. Alright, and then four into those two. Those two right there. And hitting on fours. It also doesn't help. You really have not missed. That's funny how you say that. One is dead. <laughs> okay, and then three shots on those two. Needing fours. Uh, one is dead. One is dead. Alright. So two BMP3s over there died. And, oh, that's right. Good. He's got two toe shots from there all the way down to my BMP1 who has cover from the corner of the building and he's gone to ground because he has the scout keyword. So, hitting on fives. No. Oh, saw one uh, toe fly right by him. Yep. And that is it for your shooting, right? Yep. So, on to turn three. I have three dice from my reserves. I get one, uh, I get one, and I will make that my last two T-80s, because I need my armor. Because I, I can't win until turn six, but I also have to push up. And 
I don't think I'm going to be able to pull this off. But we'll find out. You know, here's the overview. Those two are dead. I'll grab the smoke markers in a moment. There's two BMPs over there that are dead. The main infantry who are probably going to come out and swarm Sheridans or something. I don't know. We'll be back after movement. All right, Soviet movement. The T-80s that were here move up to take cover behind the smoke. They're going to shoot at those Sheridans. Tanguskis move up. We got those three. He came around this side of the building because I need to light up two Sheridans, but essentially four Sheridans with my uh, Tunguskas. And then my Carnations also moved up. They didn't like the toes pointing at them. So I've got three shots with my Carnations into these two. My last T-80 reserves did a road dash starting from here, which here's a tip, people. When you make uh, roads out of placement material, um, they move around a lot. They just did a road dash all the way up to there. And BMP stayed put. Infantry hopped from one room to the other. We kind of treat that center portion as if it doesn't exist, but also there was enough movement from one room to the other. Now, we're going to start off with the carnation shootings. I have carnation shoot, carnation shots. I have three into those two. I am slow firing, so I hit you on fives. Two hits. Uh, that's That would be straight, 21. Straight to firepower. So two plus. I killed both of them. Good. Yeah, I would have been surprised if you didn't. Uh, it's hitting you on fives. Yeah. And then my Tunguska's uh, 30 millimeter gun has five shots moving. And I have two into them. But you'll get cover. Yep. I got nice... Uh, Smoke wall in front of me. So you should be under 16. So I try to find my tape measure. Sorry for the rapid movement there. I was spinning around. Yep, you're under 16. So hitting you on fives. Actually, grab the dice tray. One, two, three, four, five hits. My anti-tank is 10? Yep. 10. Oh. So hang on, I have three on one, two on the other. We'll put two on the bailed out guy, and then three on the live alive guy. Okay. Alive guy. Yep, and bailed out guy. Okay. Yep. Okay, so kill checks, it's a five plus. Uh, he's double dead. And then the bailed out guy is uh, double bailed again. So I believe you have to make two remount checks. Nope, he's dead. He is. It says you destroy the vehicle. You don't pull it. I know some rules have been doing wrong. T-80s are going to fire all the way down at the Sheridans in the woods. They fired last turn, so they are no longer gone to ground. But I need... And I'm close enough to my Rex that I ignore the cover. For myself. Well, you're already in cover. It doesn't matter. I hit you on fives. I hit one. Straight to firepower. Uh, you're dead. Yeah, I was already reaching for the smoke. Yep. Well, I mean, I've, <laughs> come on. We've rolled ones. I just, yep. wa I just watched you last turn roll four ones in a row. Yep. <laughs> All right, BMP3s. Over there in the corner. Uh, I've got one guy shooting at the yellow squad, or desert yellow squad. Yep. And yep. then the other guy's going to shoot at the other, the other squad. So against the yellow squad, I need fours because you're out in the opens, and I'm firing my 30 millimeter gun against you. Uh, two hits. Ten. Oh, one, one possible bail check. Okay. Bail check. Yeah. Uh, nope. And then kill check. Yes. It doesn't really matter for those three. Yeah. That's the reason why I rolled both of them at the same time. It's just like, yeah. And then the other one into the other guys, but they're behind cover, so I need fives. Uh, he is uh, right there. Reaching across the table. Uh, no. All right. Well, he's dead. Well, they're both dead. They're lambs to the slaughter. Uh, my Tunguska's fired. My T-80's fired. My Carnation's fired. And I think that's it for me. Because my infantry ran around buildings. They're going to jump out probably next turn if the chair didn't stay there. So, uh, do you have any bailouts to check? Uh, I have one bailout over here. Okay. Yeah. Good rolling in the middle. Oh, he's yeah, good. There we go. 
All right, now it's turn three. So now you get to roll, start rolling for your reserves. Yeah, about time. Nope. Oh. So next turn you'll get two dice. Uh, next turn I'll get my final reserve, which is some gas gophers. I didn't. I wasn't gonna say Gaskins. I don't know what you. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right, we'll go with the airborne movement. I've killed off the Sheridans over here. One Sheridan here. We'll mark them up with smoke. Uh, I've nullified those guys' shots for now. Sergeant York should start running up and mowing down my lightly armored stuff. And then the Sheridans over here are still a dangerous threat. So we'll be back. We'll do a airborne movement next. All right, just some minor movement for the airborne, right? Yeah. Sergeant York's moved up on tacticals, correct? One. No, he did a road dash. Oh, yeah, yeah. He yeah, he needed a dash to get up there. Yeah, these three moved on tactical. And then those guys are just moving up to try and get better shots because they keep running away. Yeah. Oh, hey, I didn't see those guys move. Yeah. So they moved up. Uh, oh, it looks like I didn't see your Sheridan's move either. Yeah, I, I figured I'd park them behind the cover. Yeah. They're going to hide behind their battle buddies? Yep. Okay, uh, where do you want to start with shooting? Well, the... Uh, uh, the Sheridans in their last stand in the woods against the evil T-80s. Okay, hitting on fives. Ooh, three hits. Wow. So two on one, one on the other. So first guy needing my anti-tank, my armor front armor is 20, your anti-tank is what? Uh, 22. So two is the equals, three to bounce. Okay, first guy makes it, and then the next guy. Ooh. Uh, that is a three plus. That is a possible kill. You kill Ooh, a T eighty. Wow. I huh. <laughs> was not expecting that. I was you thinking. Hey, I did see you. I have to roll once, so now uh, now he has to start making a lot of sand checks, and I don't have an HQ anymore. That's uh, that's not good for me. It's the the A tens haven't even come on yet. Yep. <clears throat> All right. So now. Uh, some York action into your artillery. Oh, why is the dice say turn two? Uh, it should be turn here. three. So they move, so you get four shots. Oh, Sergeant Yorks, uh, those three Sergeant Yorks that are that didn't road dash can reach those four carnations. Yep. But it's over 16, right? Yeah, yeah, it's over 16. And you're not up, uh, I guess one guy has a clear line of fire. Okay, so hitting me on fours? Yeah, it should be fours. Well, half my army's hit on fours, half my army's hit on three. Oh, okay. So fours. Excuse me for the burps. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, you can reach those two guys, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's just one hit on each. All right. Yeah. What's your anti-tank? Uh, seven. My front armor is two. It goes up to three because of range. Yeah. Uh, so, four is equal? Yeah, four is equal, five to do nothing. So, I'll just roll them as a dice lay. We'll mark those guys. So fours and fives. So four would be that guy. Uh, it'd be those two in the middle, and then that guy. So the five bounces entirely. Yeah. You have a bailout check on that guy. Right, so and that is a four plus. All right. Well, might as well do the bailout first. Yep. All right. So bailout. He's bailed out, and then the other two are kill checks. So first guy dead. Second guy dead. So he is bailed, and the other two are dead. Okay, and then we're resuming the chaos over here. So four shots since that one. Okay. Oh, look, he's dead. Wow, you didn't miss a single one. And then three shots into him. Is he within 16 still of those two guys in the back? Oh, I didn't check that. Oh, yeah, he's still. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, it's just like, oh, crap, did I move him out of range? Okay, uh, hitting me on force. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Only one. Oh. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, uh, I need to re-roll that. I had one extra dice. Oh, okay. Uh, there's only three there. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's still okay. dead. Yeah. You know, that's why I was making fun of you earlier for that one die you rolled yeah. one four times because you <laughs> haven't missed. What? You haven't missed. Shut up, Bo. <laughs> so he's dead. No, those two are dead. I'll mark, uh, mark them in a moment. Okay. I'll mark them right now. And that's all my shoes doing. Come on, smoke, get on. Get on the turret. Get on the barrel. Alright. Uh, ba ba ba. 
My last reserves come on. Those uh, gophers are just going to run up to the building. If you don't mind doing that for me, Bo. Last stand on this T-80. He's dead. I rolled a one. Oh. Remount. He's good. All right. Well, that's um, I've lost half over half of my T-80s, which is what I desperately need to kill him. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, that, it's uh, not looking good for the Red Army. I guess we're not going to escape capitalism to space. But uh, it's turn four. Yeah. Yeah. Let's start on two. turn four. So I've got two more turns uh, before they destroy my rocket. Before they destroy my shuttle to escape, and then before my submarine or my my tank goes hunting submarines, so we'll see what I can do with this last bit of movement or this turn of movement. All right, like I said, my last uh, gophers, my last reserves come on there. My T-80s uh, cruise up to there. They're gonna try to clear out some Sheridans before my infantry get out of the building. My observer finally gets to do his job. Now that I'm down to three artillery teams. We're going to try to drop artillery on the Sergeant Yorks because they are, they're scary to pretty much everything else that isn't a T-80, which is, you know, the rest of my army. My Tunguskas uh, did terrain dashes up and around all these wrecked tanks. So I think it was the only, this is the only one that can be seen by those, those tow twos over there. And yeah, I think that's all of my movement. So we will start off with artillery. Love the bunch of dice over there, but I have more dice over here. Ha ha ha. So, observer, he's spotting right behind that second Sergeant York. Needing a, I'm an observer, so I'm minus one. My skill is five, so I need a four because I don't go over terrain. Nope. Nope. And no. All right, well. Um, and you said your observer was finally going to do his job for once. and. He finally could do his job, but he didn't. So the only other shots I have are my two T-80s and uh, some Sheridans. So hitting you on fives. Nope. That's a bunch of uh, that's oh, wow. five ones in a row. Neat. All right, uh, that's my turn. I'm running out of options and I can't hit. So, yep, that didn't place there. I'll leave that there for now. Okay. Because if my if you my carnation survive, they're gonna try to do that. Uh, so it's turn four. To, uh, bottom of turn four. Now go ahead and roll your reserves. Yeah, nope. It's going to be one of those games where I just don't get any reserves. Uh, I mean, you're winning without them, so. All right, we're going to go on to, do you even have any movement? Uh, I, I was thinking of doing a nope with the shared ends with the T-80 right in front of me. Oh, oh, and the, York, the, the Yorks are going to move. Okay, we'll, be, yeah. we'll do some yeah. airborne movement then. I wasn't sure if he was going to or not. Just go straight into shooting. Yeah. Shenanigans afoot. The Sheridans all pass their cross checks, right? Yep. So he's got a whole bunch of, he's got four shots into three of the four Tunguskas there. Oh, the Sheridans got scared over there because they couldn't use their Shillelaghs against the uh, T-80s, right? Yeah, yeah, too close. What's the minimum range on the Shillelagh? 16 inches. Yeah, yeah so he couldn't. Um, Sergeant York's one made a pass into the woods. And then he's got his two toes that are going to shoot at a T-80, right? Yep. Yeah, you can only can see only one. You can only see that one. You can only see which one? Yeah, this one right here. Okay. Yeah. All right. So where do you want to open up with your shots? Um, I guess uh, I'll use the Sheridans first. Okay. Uh, and, and then I'd switch to the toe. You have enough clear line of fire on everything to not give a damn about my cover. Okay. So you hit me on force. Uh, yeah, four shots. It's side armor and front armor is one, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Come on, come on. <laughs> okay, three of them are dead. All right, uh, and then that probably takes away the toast. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Okay. Um, and then uh, this York shooting that BMP. Okay, hit on five. Now I'm not sure. I couldn't find it in the rules. He's still gone to ground. The rules only say, and I tried to check the FAQ, that you only lose gone to ground when you move or shoot. So he's still technically gone to yeah. ground, as far as I can tell. So if that's an issue, please post in the comments below about the ruling. So anyway, uh, hitting on fives. 
Two hits. Uh, I believe straight to firepower. I think you have only front armor of one. Two. I have two. What's your anti tank? Uh, seven. Ooh, you hit twice. Okay, so five is equal, six is bounce. Oh, jeez. All right. Uh, firepower. And that is a oh four plus. Yep. Oh, that's good. Oh, double, double bail. bail. So that's a morale. Yeah, my morale and morale and remount are the same, so three plus. I'm good. Okay. But I'm bail. All right. And then the three into the two that they could see. Of the carnations. Yeah. So hating on... Are you under 16 now? No, still over 16. So fours. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Probably should have grabbed the dice straight for that. Yeah. Alright, so. Uh, four and four? Yep, four and four. My front armor is two. Goes up to three. So, fours and fives. So, first guy, uh, three kill checks, one bounce. And then the other guy, three kill checks and one bounce. So, this dude. Yep. Oh, look at that. And then the second dude. Oh, look at that. So... You got one carnation left. Yeah. I won't mind. We could... Oh, well, we'll see what happens in the next turn. If I can... If I can inflict some damage. Oh, I was supposed to roll any reserves, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, you get... It's turned... No, you already did. You failed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. We did that right. Okay. Yeah. I picked up a smoke marker. It sucked my finger and then disappeared. And then the two toes. Yep. Hitting on fives because I'm behind cover. I'm behind. Yeah, yeah. There's all smoking kinds of covers. Tanks. Yeah. Nope. One got close though. Okay. Uh. Well, that's it for your shooting, right? Uh. Yep. So Tunguska dead. Tunguska dead. And Tunguska did. So, does last Tunguska stick around? Yes. He wants to murder Last Thaddeus. Carnation. Yes. Uh, BMP, does he get back in? Yes. BMP one gets back in. All right. Hmm. <laughs> this is uh, This is not going good for me. I'm going to figure out if I can scrape a win by or just straight up lose next turn. Uh, so I'm going to go to my movement. My, t my last surviving Tunguska ran across all the dead tanks to go there. My T-80s are, gonna, are moving up to that wall to try and close out the objective. If you see my artillery template, I'm going to try again because there's a lot of juicy targets there. Granted, I'm down to one gun, so it's going to be really bad odds, but hey, it's worth a try. It's the best odds I got right now. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. Oh, it's turn five. Top of turn five. My gophers are just or yeah, gophers. <laughs> <laughs> My gophers are gonna sit there and do absolutely nothing. So first range and attempt. Needing a four because I'm not over terrain. Yep, I'm missing the wall. Nope. Yes. Okay, so I got it on the second attempt, so I hit you on fives. Alright, so uh hump Ed hits. A lot of Sheridans. Yep. So first Sheridan hitting on fives. No. No. Yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to. Yeah. There. One. <laughs> no. 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 Uh, and then. How much? Okay. Just touching? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. And then I guess it would probably count this one, too. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. Well, that's uh, better than I expected with okay. one gun left. Yep. Uh, so what's the... Anti-tank is four on your top. Okay. I'm guessing the Sheridans have a two? No, nope, one and one. Oh, well. Yeah. All right. So you. Uh, the, the equals. So the potential bail. You're bailed. I rolled a six. Okay. And that, that guy. Bounce. Pink. And then I thought, did I, oh, I only hit those two? Yeah. Okay. Tunguska is opening up into three of these four Sheridans here. Under 16. Hey, there's my smoke marker. Well, I lost last turn. 
hitting you on force. I hit all three of them. One each. Oh, no, okay. Uh, I hit one twice. Yeah, can you see that fourth one at all? No. Okay. Uh, can I? Nope. Okay. Um, so, so uh, one gets two. Anti tank ten. Yep. Okay. So the one. So I need to roll sixes. Nope. Nope. Okay. Nope. 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 All right. So the the guy with the two hits is double dead. The guy with one hit is dead or bailed. Bailed. And then the last guy is bailed. Dang. So this guy is dead. T-80s. They'll shoot the Sheridans, I guess. Yeah, we'll shoot the Sheridans. Uh, okay, I think uh, that one's... Can they keep oh, it? yeah, I guess I can't. You can try shooting at the toes. We'll shoot one chariot and one toe. So we'll shoot the gold squad, hitting you on fours because we're close. Uh, because I'm close enough. Nope, and the toe. No. All right, that's it for me. So now we go to bailouts. Nope, nope. Oh, reserves? Do you want to roll reserves? Yeah, I might as well do that first. Hey, yay! Get one. What do you want to bring in? Uh. Do you want to try to maverick me to death, or do you want to bird kill my gophers? What's the range of your gophers? I don't know. 56. 56. It's a firepower... Well, it's firepower 4+. Four plus. I get two shots per. Well, what's the range on the maverick? Like, oh. <laughs> yeah. I guess I reached the whole board with them there. Uh, almost. Okay, uh, so see if this guy gets back in. Well, what are you bringing in for your reserves? Uh, I'm wondering if I want to... Do the A-10s. If you bring in the Hueys. Yeah. Zoom in there. If you bring in one of your infantry platoons, you can can't kill my gophers with just your Hueys. Oh, that's right. <laughs> uh, okay. Well. Because I am yeah, down I, to... Yeah, I think I'll... Uh, I'm down to like one man stands on most of my formation. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to... So what are you bringing in? Hueys. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, one of the platoons that he was... So, two bailout checks. One, one gets back in. Hey, cool. That's good enough to make sure you don't have to do last man standing. Yep. And then that guy over there. Yep, he gets back in. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so one's still bailed out. Uh, so I can leave those guys there. Okay, and then, yeah, I'm going to... We're going to do a movement. He's yeah, going to deploy helicopters and... Yeah. Yep. That mess is there. Most of my, um, almost all of my stuff is dead. I've, yeah, it's it's no escaping capitalism, I guess. Oh darn! All right, we got one Sheridan moving up to, to help out his buddy to kill the last Tunguska. The Sergeant York's moved up. One guy got stuck in the woods. It sounds like those two are going to try to shoot the guys in the building because they can shoot through the doors finally. And then that one and that one are going to shoot at the BMP-1? Yep. Alright. A bunch of share. All the Sheridans are shooting the T-80s. You got four side shots? Yep. And three frontal shots. But the, the, the spicier one is the Huey's Land over here. And we'll probably do that last because there's some shenanigans that are going to happen. Alright, so where do you want to shoot? Right, oh, uh, I should probably update the toes moved within four inches of the objectives in case I somehow pull this off, which um, I doubt it. All right, so into the Tunguska. Needing threes. I might have been saying fours, but he's been rolling high enough. Oh, look at that, it's dead. Kaboom. Yep. Okay, man. So, yeah, these two into the BMP. Okay. Hitting on threes because you have clear line of fire. Uh, four hits? Yep, four hits. On my front, my front is a two. I will remember this someday, probably not. Oh, actually, I might have to reroll that. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. oh, oh it's under 16. Actually. All right, and how many times did you hit me? 
A four. Four. Right. Five is equal. Six is bounce. Uh, three, three kill checks. Yep. yep. BMP one's dead. All right, and then into the building. Let's yep. I am hit on sixes because I am yep. technically gone to ground. Yep. Shot and. Yep. Yep. Okay. Nope. Oh, oh. I'm breaking through the windows. Well, you're punching holes in the door. Yeah. There are no windows. Oh, yeah. No. I'm making new windows. Yeah. All right. So. Um, let's see here. So I guess we'll do the toes first. Okay. Hitting on uh, fives because of cover. Yeah. No. Oh, they forgot to load it. All right. And then. Or the wire broke. Yeah. Or the wire broke. All right. So four uh, side shots. Okay. Hitting on fours. So two. Yeah, so one on each. So my side armor goes up to 16 because of ERA, right? Yep. And then this is a 21 anti-tank. So one on each because you hit me twice. Yeah. My side armor goes up to 16, which means I need a five to equal uh, six to bounce. Oh, they're both dead. Oh, yep, auto. Okay. Okay. Um, and then I guess we'll do... All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come over here. All right, so they get four, four shots each. Hang on, I get my AA oh, yeah, yeah. fire first. Yep. So according, I'm just knocking everything over behind me. According to the rules, as long as I can draw a line of sight to a transport vehicle shooting at me, or AA transport vehicle shooting at me, and I have guided AA, basically I'm shooting him as he's coming down. I have one, two, three that can shoot at him, and then one that can shoot at him. Because I have to draw a line of sight. Do you want to put that away? Oh, yeah. So, two shots into this, Huey, needing what, fours? Yeah. Yeah, fours. One hit. And then six shots into the other Huey. Three hits. So, now you get your aircraft saves. That was a five plus. Alright. So you. Oh, oh he action. makes it. Oh. And then this one not not so confident about. Wow. Okay, so two firepower checks. Okay. I need a f it's either I believe it's a four. Alright, so I kill this Huey. Who was in it? Alright, so that's blue green. Uh, let's see here. Blue green. Blue green. All right, so these three were in it. Okay, so now you place them behind the wrecked, the Huey. Now, the rules are kind of iffy about it. Are these actually considered wrecks? I say yes, because under the terrain chart, it, it does say they are a wreck. Land, uh, destroyed landed aircraft are wrecks. But it doesn't say that under, like, destroyed vehicle section. I, con I consider them as wrecks because one part of the rule says yes, the other part of the rule doesn't mention them at all. So this is a destroyed helicopter. Now he needs to make his infantry saves. Yep. Uh, uh, well, I guess I'll roll them separately. So, first guy? Oh, well, I was going to oh. do the toe first. All right. Or dragon. Right, Dragon's good. Um, oh, next two. Oh, one. Time. I kill one. But they are pinned down. Funny thing is, this is the fast way to dismount uh, infantry. Because yep. even though they're pinned down, guess what? They still get to shoot. I did that, I did that on purpose. Um, I would have The better, the smarter play would have just been to completely ignore them and then drove into them. So, now your Huey gets to shoot at store guns. The surviving one. Okay. Hitting on threes. Uh, uh, one hit on each one. Okay, let me uh, go double check what my uh, stats are on those stupid things. I only looked at the firepower. What's your anti-tank? Two. My side armor's one. Ha ha. <laughs> so I still rolled a one. I rolled three twos and a one. Uh, bailout check. Right, uh, so what is that? Six. Oh, six. Yep. Nope. I saw the six start coming up. All right. Um, now your infantry can shoot me. Oh yeah. Um, your dragon can't because it's an yeah. eight-inch minimum range. Yeah. Right, and uh, let's see here. They have the law, which is slow firing. Fair. I'm hit on a four then. Nope, okay. they forget to load it. All right. 
Well, I think we can call it there. I, my T-80s are dead. I only have a platoon of infantry and my, ga uh, my gophers left. Pretty much. One carnation. Does he stick around? Yes. But one carnation and... Yeah, I don't have enough to even keep trying. It's the bottom. It's the bottom of turn six. So even if I, yeah, with even if I don't break my formation, I, I lose because I can't get within six. So yeah, yeah, it looks yeah. And awkward left hand. Yeah, yeah like, that, that, I'm still not used to that. That's weird. I know, right? Well, I mean, they don't make a left-handed camera that I can find. <laughs> That'd be a lot easier for me. Yeah, That'd be a little more confusing. Your best case is you maybe kill one. Or, or try to or drop storm. artillery again. Uh, but I only have seven infantry stands, so. Yeah. yeah. And you still have oh, oh, six, uh, you have, still have one, two, three, four platoons of you, of rifle infantry, right? Yeah, and um, yeah, the A-10s and the two scout platoons. Yeah, so it's just, NATO horde works. I think this is probably one of the best NATO armies in the game. The Sheridan is amazing with its auto firepower. Anti-tank 21 may be bad, but as you can see, a lot of the Soviet stuff is cheap or uh, lightly armored. Like Carnations, those are standard Carnations. They have a front armor of two. The Sheridans go straight through them. Um... Normally, he doesn't bring the A-10s. You bring the uh, HSTVLs, right? Yeah, yeah, I like those a lot. We're not calling them RDFs on this channel. That is not what they are called. They were the high, survi high, high survivability test vehicle. Light. Yeah. RDF is Rapid Deployment Force. You yeah, don't that, name a tank that. Yeah, I wanted to try out my A-10s again just to try them out because I've had really bad luck with them. Yeah, the one game he actually played is A-10s, which is why they're not fully painted. Um, they died to one Syrian like AA team. Yeah. Yeah. All, both of them. Yeah, or did you or did you play all four? I played all four. Yeah, he, he lost four twenty points to one one point team. One stand. Yeah, yeah, and then he's like, I'm never finishing this again. He's like, Well, I'll, I'll bring T80s and you can try. Um, this is not a good force. The T80 Shock Company is not a good army. It's a terrible army. It's a NATO army playing with Soviet stuff, and it's terrible. It's awful. I hate it. I built this army solely to play with my buddy, who built an all leopard two army, and then he got rid of it. So, come on, man. But I have a bunch more T-80s. I can always convert it down to the standard T-80 battalion. And, as I was saying, I still think this is the best NATO army. I still think this is the best NATO tank in the game. It's two points of tank, right? Yep, two points of tank. Anti-tank 21, auto firepower. You know, removing randomness from the game is huge. You know, even against side armor. Like, oh, I, you have to get to my side armor. Well, when you horribly outnumber me. And against, uh, was it, T-72s or T-64s with the ERA armor? They have a front armor of 18. Yeah. Well, you could easily go through the front armor of 18. Yeah. Well, I would still try to use the shillelaghs. Oh, you would yeah. use the shillelaghs at long yeah. range, but, you know, unlike here where he needed me to roll ones in the front, which he didn't even bother shooting yet, or no. he didn't need to shoot yet, you know, that's what happened here. He needs me to roll ones in the front to bail me out. That's what I did. Over here, at least. Um, or he died. But yeah, so the against the better Soviet tanks, which are the T-72, I don't remember the number lettering system, the ERA T-72 and the ERA T-64s, the Sheridans are amazing. Against Iranian chieftains, they're pretty good. He usually brings his RDFs, so those are great against uh, Iraq or Syria. Yeah, I think this is... I think this is, especially the weird way he plays, where it's like, I'm going to put all my infantry reserves, screw infantry, screw artillery... Yep, I, yep, don't like the rats. Um, yeah, I I know I keep going on about it, but yeah, he, his favorite tank is probably, you know, again, I keep saying it, probably the best NATO tank in the game. Mm. Who, who? Yeah, I, I still like the uh, high survivability test vehicle. That, that's that's the, the second, I would probably yeah. say that's the second best NATO tank in the yeah. game. The only reason I downrate it so low is because it's got that anti-tank of 19. I think it's less than that. No, it's but, 18. Oh, it's 19? The oh, okay. thing about it is is it's always hit on a 6 if you put it behind But uh, you get two shots when stationary. Yes. The Sheridans only have one shot no matter what. But it's a big enough gun that... Yeah. I, I'm, 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 I'm probably overvaluing the auto firepower. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, especially when I get in those one rolling sprees. Well, it's yeah. not even that. It's just, it's just removing randomness from the game. Yeah. That is a huge. Uh, that's a huge thing for like any like tabletop or card game. But despite the fact that I lost pretty substantially, 
I still had fun. I hope you still had fun. Oh, yeah. Got, got to see the Red Army. Yep. Red Army. The Red Army will be back. I still have, like, five T-80s. Four? Four extra T-80s so I can up the platoons to, you know, the standard shock, uh, the standard T-80 battalion. I just have to pick up more BMP-3s and more infantry. So, I like the Army. I just hate the shock company. Because, oh boy, two T-80s for 19 points versus three for 22. Bad trade-off, in my opinion. When the Soviets are, when the Red Army is supposed to be, you know, a horde. But that's what happens when we try to escape capitalism. We lose pretty much the last man. Filthy Americans. Filthy Airborne. They didn't even bring the Airborne. <laughs> yeah, they, they were didn't. napping on their helicopters. Yeah, yeah, they were like, hey, we're ready for war. Oh, it's over. Like, no. I'm not even sure, like, if I even had my, like, if this was a standard where I had all my stuff on the table, I still don't think I could have pulled it off very well because... A platoon of two is real bad in this game. Yeah. You know, you saw it here. Kill one guy, do a bad roll, and the other guy runs away. So, thank you all for watching. Hopefully, I'm doing better with my camera control. I uh, hope you uh, liked the, uh, what's that called, Army Showcase. I'll do it uh, if that was, yeah. I'm just slowly trying to improve the channel, but I'm also doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes. I also just got uh, pretty much over the flu. So, that's no excuse, though, for bad content. Anyway, hopefully this was bad content. Hopefully you all enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Do all the YouTube and Rumble stuff or channel if I even upload it there. Anyway, thank you again. Thank you. Hope to see you next time. Bye.